Hello everybody, I hope you are well. So today's video features the legendary Chad Chop Chop Milne, uh, a bit of a New Zealand boxing legend. Um, he's got seven or eight golden gloves. He was New Zealand champ a handful of times. Uh, he went to the Commonwealth Games. Um, he's the real deal and a lovely, lovely guy. He came along to our summer camp uh, recently and he did a complete basics boxing class. Everything from the stance through to striking, head movement, the whole thing. So this is the very first video and in this he covers off the boxing stance, basic body movement and some of the, the, the basic shots. I hope you find this interesting. I know from an Aikido point of view we use a Temi all the time but to be uh, formally instructed by a particular art in the way they strike is fascinating. As always if you enjoyed this smash the like button, consider subscribing have fun. Well, thanks for having me here, everybody. Uh, thanks, Chad Mills. Um, start well. I'll talk about boxing and boxing, right? So yeah, yeah, I started boxing when I was 15, 2007. Uh, I competed well, yeah, right into my boxing uh, competitions until about 2017. So about a solid 10 years of just basically dedicating my life, everything else was not priority. <laughs> Boxing was priority. Uh, in that time I had 99 amateur fights. Um, I, during that time, yeah, during those fights I got eight Golden Glove uh, titles, five New Zealand titles, uh, Oceania title, um, competed at World Champs, Commonwealth Games, um, and yeah, so that, that's what I achieved over the years. Um, started off as a like overweight kid, uh, so boxing really helped like changed my life i was quite shy and self-conscious and uh yeah so it's had a big impact on my life uh maybe the man i am today so yeah shot to boxing <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's enough about me anyway uh so i want to start off right from the bottom like i said yeah just right from the start just build it up so i'm going to start with boxing starts all right so uh first thing I'm going to use this line here, if you can see that, it's a centre line, so centre lines are really important. Uh, as you know in most martial arts, uh, balance and centre lines. Yeah, so, what I want you to picture is, if you've got a square on the ground, right, your feet are at opposite corners of a square, we're about shoulder distance, right, so we're slightly going to be side on to our opponent. Alright, you've got your feet, one front foot pointing forward, back foot's going to be slightly pointing out to the side, and I want your shoulders to be in line with your feet. All right, we've got a slight bend in our knees. So bring our weight forward, hands up by our cheekbones. So this is just textbook kind of stance. And your elbows in nice and tight. All right, so you know, we don't want to be revealing too much of a target to our opponent. So yeah, we're in the middle there. So one thing as well, our center point is really important. All right, so when we're in our stance, I want you to think that your head is right over that middle. All right, that, that center point. So that if we need to go in different directions, throw shots, we don't have to bring ourselves back so we can rotate yeah, off that centre point and then if we want to move we don't have to yeah, bring our weight back so that we need to change direction so we're always yeah, nice and neutral in that centre point okay so yeah does anyone just want to yeah, get up and just have a little play around with that and I can come around and just correct everyone uh, obviously with boxing you've, you've probably seen lots of boxes they've got lots of different styles, different stances but this is really textbook, it's real basic so if you use that little, the, the mats, there's those lines on the mats. Yeah, just, just use it as a bit of a reference. Uh, so one foot on either side of that line. Remember, like that corner of a square, opposite corners of a square, shoulder distance between your feet. That's a slight bend in the knees. A little bit of a bend in the hips. You get those hands up, elbows in. That's it, it's like looking forward. Yeah, so remember, and also bring your weight forward a little bit. We don't want to be up too tall. We would only have like a weak chin so we could get caught around the side, especially with like hooks and wide punches. So make yourself nice and compact. All right, so yeah, in between that. So if, yeah, everyone just have a little think of that. Check the floor, check your feet. That's cool, I like that everyone's kind of moving a little bit. So it's cool, we're kind of slightly in motion as well. If we're too yeah, stable, then you've got to get the, the body moving to so generate that bit of energy. So that's cool, nice. When we're in our starts, right, we want to rotate off that center. So let's work, we're going to work through our punches now. All right, so we're going to start with straight shots. We're going to work our jab. Some people use like numbers because it's easy for um, communication. But we start, so front hand is, yeah, jab. 
we watch, we're on that center point, we, we slightly twist. We're gonna rotate, hips and shoulders come forward. So a little bit of a flick in the hips. We're gonna punch, we wanna punch down that center line. We've got those lines there, right? So punch down the center line, bit of rotation, keep that other hand up high. And then when you bring it back, return back to that neutral stance. All right, so let's all just have a little go of that. All right, so make sure, yeah, nice and, and, and centered. We twist, and as we twist, we don't want to like move our head too far off to the side. We're just rotating yeah, on that center point. Up. Oh. That's it. A bit of a twist, so at the end of the shot, your thumb is facing the floor. All right, and then when you come back, okay, yeah, palms are sort of facing towards you. All right, strip that out a few times, everybody. And just go pop that jab out. And to keep those hips in the middle as well, try not to let the hips shift off different directions and just everything rotates on that center. That's it. Yeah, get a little bit of speed as well. So flip the shot, pop it out. Want to be nice and dynamic, right? So we have a front hand only, that's the jab. And make sure, yeah, after that shot, when you return, you're still in that silent stance. What will happen is you might come back to that square stance where we reveal too more of a target to our opponent. That's the one. That's nice. nice. All right, anyway, so that's the jab. Let's go to our, our rear hand shot, cross, or, or two if you go with the numbers. So same again, we're gonna punch down that line. This time we're gonna use our back leg, we're gonna drive into the floor, all right? So there, there, there are little cures if, if you stub out a cigarette. All right, so we're gonna drive into the ground. Don't do that, it's not good. All right, so we're gonna drive into the ground, use the ball of our foot to push into the floor, and our hip and shoulder is gonna come through with the shot, all right? So we've got the, the, the weight of the body behind the punch. Still be mindful, head shouldn't travel off that center point, so we're still rotating yeah, on, on, that, on that axis, all right? So we're there, bang. All right, same again, twist the first thumb facing the floor, and then come back to that neutral position. All right, let's go further cross on its own. That's it, keep the elbows tight. So punching straight down that line, all right, really make sure you're punching straight towards your opponent. And then you're making sure we're resetting those shoulders right slightly side off. Nice. There you go. All right. So now let's move on to our, our front hand hook. Okay. So this shot, yeah, really we got to, we're really gonna work the rotation in the shot. It's gonna land around the side of the target. Okay, so. So this shot can be kind of like one of the hardest ones to kind of learn the technique, it's a bit awkward. So we're gonna use the front hand and we're gonna twist the front foot. We're gonna bring the shot around the side. Um, big question is, yeah, thumb up or thumb down? Depends really. We'll go thumb down for, for the purpose of this. We're gonna twist, rotate, and then the motion is kind of like if you're gonna slam the door shut, all right? So you bring the shot around onto the side of the target. Maybe keep that other hand high. Open up the elbow a little bit, so don't, don't keep it too tight. So we're gonna throw short, open it up. So you've got a bit of range on your shot, then reset, bang, then bring it back to that neutral position. All right, so that's your front hand hook, knee hand hook. And then finish the shot on the target. All right, so it's gonna travel a bit of a loop on the way to the target. It's gonna go out and then come back. And then finish the fist, yeah, on that target area or where your opponent would be. 